Julie Van Rosendahl knows how to impress even Kris Kringle this holiday season. And you have the perfect combination of ingredients to make a cheery, chewy Christmas cookie or a crisp cookie, whatever your preference. Whatever you like. You melt in your mouth shortbread, a chewy cookie, a crisp cookie. That's the thing about cookies. They have such a wide variety of textures. Mm -hmm. And they all have pretty much the same ingredients. Butter, sugar, eggs, flour. And it's the combination that you use that will determine the texture that your cookie has. Okay, so yeah. let's break it down here by starting with some ingredients. Butter, okay. of course, is important. Butter is very important. It's, it's the best ingredient for baking. It's got a great flavor. It's got a low melting point. So that means that they'll start to spread earlier on, you know, compared to margarine or shortening, which doesn't have a great flavor. Mm -hmm. So butter is great to use. If it's too cold and you can't beat it, mm -hmm. I have a little trick. You can grate it on the core side of your box grater. That's a great way to cut your butter into pastry or biscuits. You know, usually you, you sort of cut it in with a fork or a pastry cutter. You can grate it on the, a box grater, but it will also soften your butter nice and evenly right. so that you can then beat it. Because if it's too hard, you won't be able to beat the air into the butter and sugar, which is typically how you start making a cookie. And you don't want it too soft either. Leah says sometimes she microwaves hers. Oh, yeah. And it's like a pool, of a puddle in the middle, exactly. and it's hard around the edge. Yeah, so grating it is perfect. Good trick. Okay, so the second ingredient typically is sugar. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for a crispy cookie, like uh, these ones in the front, my grandmother's marmalade cookies you were showing earlier. So sugar is what will, uh, will do that. Plain white sugar will melt. It'll harden as it cools. Um, it caramelizes. So anything that you want really crisp, use a high ratio of white sugar as opposed to brown sugar, mm -hmm. which is hygroscopic, which means it absorbs moisture from the air. So if you're looking for a chewy cookie, mm -hmm. using more brown sugar, and that will only will it give it a more caramelly flavor because it's yeah. got some molasses in it, it will absorb moisture from the air. So after they cool, they'll get softer rather than crisper. So Hygroscopic. Hygroscopic. So this is very scientific. It's cookie a lot, segment this morning. <laughs> it's a lot like uh, you're a scientist. A rocket science in <laughs> cookie baking. Totally. So so yeah. So if you want crisp, go for more white. If you want chewy, go for more brown. Yeah. If you want to make your own brown sugar, if you run out or if it's rock hard and you mm -hmm. don't have time to soften it, beat one tablespoon of molasses into one cup of white sugar. Just oh. stir it in. If you use a mixer, it's really fast, yeah. and you can make your own brown sugar. The more molasses you add, the darker the sugar is. Hey. Yeah. So Great emergency trick. baking trick. Okay. Okay. Eggs, eggs important. Eggs will bind everything together, but they'll also make them a little bit cakey. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing something like shortbread that you want to really melt in your mouth and have that sandy texture, you don't want to use any eggs or any liquid. Liquid will make th them cakier too. So if you're using applesauce, for example, grated fruit. Um, that will make them sort of puffy and, and cakey. Okay. Which isn't, it's more like a muffin top, you know? Right. You know? Yeah. There's something for everyone in the Absolutely. cookie world. So, flour. Mm -hmm. Flour is important. Um, the measuring of flour is important. So, this is why so many recipes call for uh, their ingredients by weight instead of by, you know, a cup by, measurement. Hand, by measurement. Right. Um, this is all purpose flour, it, which is great for baking. You don't need to get cake and pastry flour, which is lower in gluten. And, uh, and not really necessary for cookies. But when you measure it, you want to scoop it out, sort of aerate it, stir it up a little bit in its bowl. The idea is to fill your measuring cup with as little flour as possible. Ah. Because if you add too much flour, your cookies are going to get sort of heavy and, you know, it could be tough, a little bit Do you thicker. sift your flour? You don't have to sift your flour anymore. Some recipes tell you to, and that's just to aerate it, yeah. to make sure that it's not packed down in its container. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessary, but you can do it to kind of fluff it up. Okay. And just kind of stir it up in the container, scoop it out, level it off, and then you're good that's to go. That's how you roll. That's how I roll. Vanilla is, I think it's really important in a cookie. I always put twice as much vanilla mm -hmm. as the recipe calls for, and this is vanilla bean paste, so you can see the little bits of the little seeds in oh, there. Oh, yummy. Yeah. Okay, so now in terms of making a chewy cookie that will stay chewy, yes. what's the trick? Okay, the trick is to not overbake them. Okay. So a lot of people bake their cookies until they're golden all over, mm -hmm. and then they'll firm up as they cool. So they'll be soft at, at first while they're warm, and then they're not going to be soft anymore once they cool down. So make sure that they're, they're golden around the edges, but still soft in the middle. It's better to almost underbake them right. than to overbake them. Um, and, and then do you take them off the pan right away? Take them off the pan. If you have a cooling rack, take them off the pan right away. Sometimes I leave them on the pan. It's not really a huge deal. But, um, but yeah, take them off the pan if you can and, uh, and use brown sugar and make sure that you don't overbake them. Great yes. tip. Thank you so much, Julie. That's all the time we have. We could, okay. uh, we could talk cookies all day. We could. What kind of animal is this? This is a polar bear. <laughs> Those are sugar cookies. I like it. Yeah. A Christmas polar bear for the holiday season. Thank you so much for baking up a storm for us and sharing your tips.